Good morning and welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. It's gonna be a little different for us. We're loaded up and we're ready to hit the road. In Trudy Thundered, towing white lightning. We're gonna do a couple of things different. So our, our destination for today is something that I very, very rarely do. And that's going, it, we're headed to a private RV resort. That's right, I'm going to a, a private campground. But that's because it's in reasonable proximity to our primary destination, which will arrive there tomorrow. And that'll be a big reveal for the channel something that we're really excited about and then we've got we're gonna go back to some place that we went two years ago so stay with me there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff in this video let's get on the road and go to crockett texas We made it. We are at the Crockett Family Resort. Yeah, you know, they got all the RV kind of resort stuff you expect. Splash pad, a swimming pool. Looks like maybe they have a, a hot tub. There's a flue right there. A lot of cabins back up there. I think there's a putt-putt miniature golf over there. Paddle boats and a fishing dock. Of course, it looks like they're in the process of overhauling their little marina. Little store here's got all, you know, camp stuff. So, anyway, we're going to get checked in and we're going to go see the town of Crockett. Well, good morning. Our little trip into Crockett yesterday afternoon turned out just to be a drive to the grocery store and back. We didn't spend any time stopping and looking neat little town look forward to coming back and exploring that in a, in a little more detail but we've got a big thing today and we're going to show you that in just a moment but uh, but before we roll out i wanted to say thank you to wear safe for being a sponsor of the, today's video you know when you're out and about in your motor home you never know where you're going to be. You never know who's going to stop by and check out your stuff while you're not around. So I'm not taking Little Red in the truck with us. So I'm going to take my wear safe tracking device and stick it right down there. Now I'm like, I got Little Red all chained up. So I don't have to worry about anybody jumping on Red and going for a ride. And now that I have the wear safe tracking device on there, if it leaves camp, I'll know where it is. All right, so let's get on the road and we're gonna head, we're gonna, we're gonna go check out a big surprise. Let's go. We are here. We have arrived. Where have we arrived? Well, you know, for, if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you know that Yappy and I live up north of the Dallas Metroplex, uh, close to the town of McKinney. That place is growing really fast and we're really tired of being in suburbia. And so for about a year, we've been looking for something uh, more rural and we have ended up here. This is kind of central East Texas. Not, we're about uh, eight miles off of 45 close to the town of Centerville. Well, we're the proud new owners of 10 acres of East Texas timber. And this, this will be RV base camp for the Dude RV operation. It is raw land. So we are here today to figure out where our road and potential build site will be. But as you can see, <laughs> it's a thicket. So we're gonna have to do a little hacking and bushwhacking today. And then 
uh, after we spend several hours playing around out here, uh, we're going to go back, pack up, and move to another campground. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss that. But, uh, I don't know. I got to go to work. Stay tuned, more to come. Texas forest land. We have 10 acres. It all looks like that. <laughs> we, have a, we have a bit of clearing to do to, to create the RV compound. Whether uh, we rent the equipment and do it ourselves or we find somebody local to, to do it. Although the, the few locals I've talked to that do this for the amount of money they're charging, I'd be coming out ahead renting the equipment doing it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go to the back and check out the spring. We're almost to the back of the property. Uh, it's gonna be hard for you to see, but there's a dead tree right there on the other side of that hill. That's the end of the property. So we have about an acre, maybe half an acre here where the spring is coming up. That's a good thing. It would, all we would need to do is scoop out the dirt and we would have a pond. Somewhere back up in here, there's a, there's a big oak tree with a perfect place to put a swing. No road noise. Some people shooting pigs. All right, so that's the that's the new dude rv 10 acre compound or soon to be compound i guess we're gonna go do some camping now we're doing our version the dude rv version of grilled jalapenos so we buy the biggest jalapenos we can cut them in half take the take the white pith and the seeds out or most of the seeds and then we put a steak sauce on there and we grill them until they start to curl up and I'll show you that they're good stay tuned like we're getting close it's starting to curl up but the thing is is that we just started a few more minutes we'll add some yeah. cheese so much cheddar so we're cheesing it up now this is gonna be a cheesy video there's the Robusto for you. I'm gonna let you have this. Is that okay? Yep. I might have one. So we have Robusto and Swiss. Cheddar coming. And cheddar will be coming along shortly. Okay, 
I've got that out here. All right. Oh, good. Now we're waiting for cheese oh, to melt. The, the finished product. I guess we need to have a plating. Oh, these are just so good. Get off of mine. Eat your Robusto. <clears throat> these are yours. <laughs> there you go. Here's how you eat them. They're good. Mm -hmm. He's mm. sharp, that guy. That's so good. We have arrived at Ratcliffe Lake. Ratcliffe Lake Recreation Area. Navy Crockett National Forest. Beautiful campground. We're in site number 39, and we are at the end of the Camping Loop Road. So we have no neighbors. It is Sunday. End of February. Someday at the end of February. <laughs> There's not any water at the sites here at Ratcliffe Lake. Jeff Power, but water's communal somewhere. It is not even, uh, it used to be an asphalt pad. Now it's more just a gravel and sand pad. We have a big fire bowl. The ubiquitous lantern hook that we must have a wood topped concrete table structure a big toe catcher here on the patio so you got to watch that it's 30 amp only 30 and 15 amp there's water but it looks to be turned off I am going to practice working with the tent camping setup since we've already done an experiential video for Ratcliffe Lake. I don't know, when, if and when the sun comes out, we'll go see some more. time setup was much faster it took less than 10 minutes the majority of that time was messing with that that little rod I found it works much better if you put the pole in place first and then stake it down that gives you because if you stake it down and it's too tight to put the pole up camp is set for the most part, I, I think I, with the exception of putting a, putting up an outdoor kitchen, somewhere to cook food, we're done. We have fireside seating, a TP tent with an Alpcore, oh so comfortable cot. We have a bathroom. I really like this bathroom setup from Alpcore. 
decided to deploy Bobber and go explore Ratcliffe Lake. Depth finder on here. Let's see how deep or shallow this little body of water is. I sure like this little boat. Little bit of a project to put it in the water. But man, once it's on once it's on the water, it's just smooth sailing. So right in the middle of the little channel here between the campgrounds, water's about five feet deep. It's the end of February, 2022. It's about 65 degrees, winds out of the south, water's cold. Deepest point I found on Ratcliffe Lake was right, it was about 13 feet, and then it's right out in the very middle center of the lake. You know, my fish finder is not showing very much in the way of, of fish. Every once in a while, it shows a little one. I don't know. It's getting on toward uh, supper time, though. So I think I'm going to pack it in for today. Good morning. Well, it is a wet, gloomy morning here in the Davy Crockett National Forest. Is there, everything is just dripping dripping with moisture well the original plan was to hang out here for two nights that way i could spend some time on bobber fishing the, the lake but after after discovering that the lake is only about 12 feet deep and the fish finder is not showing very many fish we've decided to pack up our wet camp and move a little farther north so we're going we're going to pack stuff up and we're going to hit the road. We're going to run north about an hour and a half. And I'm gonna spend the night at Purtis Creek State Park. I've already I've already documented that a couple times. So I'm backtracking quite a bit. This journey is a backtracking journey. Anyway, we're going to pack up our wet stuff and we're going to head north. Maybe do a little fishing at Purtis Creek. Either way. Uh, we're moving, we're moving back north. Traveled north. We've traveled north. We're at Purtis Creek State Park. Sun has come out. Site number 18, Purtis Creek State Park. Super level asphalt pad. Now, Purtis Creek is only 30 amp and water sites. We had to watch out for this oak tree kind of hanging out in the way the ready pack is so happy to be here we really like Purtis Creek the sites are and our closest neighbors can hardly see the table <clears throat> now I don't plan on setting the tent up at every site we go to but you know it, it, got, it was wet this morning when I put it away, so I had to pull it out and set it up. And for the record, three minutes. Three minutes to pitch the tent. So, with several things we gotta dry out. Patio mat is soaked. We don't have any plans for to do anything here. We just, we decided to leave a day early, get a little closer to Dallas so our drive is half as long in the morning because it's supposed to be nasty weather tomorrow morning our day is coming to an end which means our journey is just about done finishing up here at Purtis Creek State Park now, honestly I gotta tell you short of short of our own property this has been <laughs> The highlight of this little journey is, is hanging out here at Purtis Creek State Park. 
It's quiet. Private. You know, the National Forest was cool, but it was white, you know. Was, everybody walking by is looking at you. That's all right, you know. But you know, I like some privacy too. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you're coming to Purdy Creek State Park and you're going to be camping in a tent, Site 18 is not for you. A little bit of a place over there if you don't mind tree roots. And over here, you're all right if you don't mind rocks. <laughs> anyway, we're not, we're not talking about tent camping. We're done. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed our little wandering journey. This video has been a wandering video, different from most of them that I do. If you found it enjoyable, please click on that thumbs up and share me across your social media. Really helps with the algorithm. We hit 15,000 subscribers while we were on this journey. So those of you who have subscribed, Though you, I'm talking to you, 15,000 people. Thank you. I am most honored. I truly am. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And the cream of the crop of those 15,000, my patrons, by golly, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?